G'day folks, just home from a uh, camping trip over the island, I thought I'd give you a bit of a run through of how I clean whiting. A few tips when you're doing a repetitive task like this, filleting whiting, you're going over and over, you just want to set a few things up to make it as easy as you can. First thing you want to do is have a bucket or an esky sitting here so that you can drop the frames into. You want your knives set up, you want some water, you want a good bowl to um, slip your fillets into and uh, you want a couple of sharp knives. <clears throat> so this is the toadfish, um, one that knife that I've been using for a fair while, everyone that has seen it, probably that's seen any of the videos. It's a cracking little knife, it's great that it folds up, goes in my knapsack, pretty much goes everywhere with me camping, fishing, whatever. But um, I've been trying the uh, new filleting blade from TT and straight out of the box it's as sharp as if you're chasing a good value for money knife for, for filleting the smaller fish like this, you do worse to have a look at these. Just be careful, they're really sharp. Nice little clip on them that's single handed action. But you can just pop the scabbard off so there's no knife doesn't fall out of the scabbard easy and um, you can just give it a flick of your thumb and it comes off so there's a couple of ways that I fill it whiting depending on um, if Jode wants the uh, skin left on or skin left off so pretty much I just make a cut like that just finish scaling it and then just grab it by the head and it's just a smooth motion down like that and you end up with a nice fillet like that and same thing on the other side cut on a, a bit of an angle get the most of this shoulder meat and then um, cut through like that so it's pretty simple all I do is come up here cut on an angle roll the knife a little bit hold the head and then just slide straight through with a cut like that and flip it over same thing watch the knuckles cut down at an angle and straight through and cut like that and you can just drop your fillet straight into the box that you've got there so I like to get a few fillets set up here and um, I'll show you what I what, how I get the bones out of them now that one I forgot to scale so I'll do that one in a minute anyway I'll do one more like this so just on the angle and just run it through. Use the full length of your knife if you can. That way you're not. Um... Oh, just picked up a couple of the uh, couple of the fins there, but I'll bone those out. So it's as easy as that. That's the way I do that. If Jode wants the um, the fillets bone, there's a different way that you can do this. So if I want to um, get these fillets where I skin them as I go, uh, it's pretty much a simple matter of doing your fillet as you go and you leave just the tail attached there and then you just pick up the fillet here and then just grab him and run the fillet off like that you end up with a skinless fillet like so this knife I haven't put on the steel for a little while so you um, it's a little bit blunter which is what I like for uh, skinning the whiting or any fish really if it's too sharp I find it just slips through the skin you're better off with a knife that just hasn't got that real keen edge on it so I haven't knocked this one on the uh, on the steel for a little while so it's perfect for skinning as you saw it come out with a pretty good fillet so I'll keep that one for skinning and I'll just grab this one back so once I've got a few fillets here pretty much I'll just give that a bit of a clean off there like so pretty much all I do is lay the fillet out like that put my fingers under here and you just kind of go by feel take the flitch out straighten the um, in the bucket again Spin it straight round, feel where the pin bones are, and it makes it really easy with a real sharp knife on the point like this. Just knock the um, knock the V or V the, the pin bones out of the ribs. 
I'll just um, do another one here. Same thing, just straight through into the bucket. Feel where the ribs are. Nice V out. And then I can just pop the finished finish fillets straight over into the bucket. So it's as easy as that. There's nothing real hard about it. But I just thought I'd show you a few tips. Um, again, I'll just, just go in on the angle and just knock that flitch out like so. Feel where the pin bones are. And then knock it out straight into the container. And that way, if you set up like this, it just makes it a lot less of a chore. Oops, drop that one in. A lot less of a chore when you're um, knocking over. I, don't know, I think I brought home 15 or 20 white in here. So set up early, make it easy for yourself, and um, and enjoy a good feed of feed of white. And so it's as easy as that. Um, like I said, preparation is probably the key with this. Uh, get out there, get a feed, and it's the best time of year to get them. So um, hope these few tips help you. got another whiting here just wanted to basically say how good this uh, platypus pulse mono is going uh, there's been a few videos of me catching flathead and stuff with it but the stuff's been on here for 12 months now and I fish more than uh, more than most this one's a uh, six pound and I think it's in a ghost clear color it seems to blend in really well with the water especially when I'm fishing these real shallow ridges and stuff for whiting so if you're looking for a quality Australian made uh, mono line for um, chasing whiting and flathead you do a, do a lot worse than um, picking up a roll of platypus pulse mono